What's up everybody, this is Roland Dirty coming back at you with another video. This time just uh, showing you around my local area where I live, just to show you what I come and visit when I'm on my lunch break for example. Um, I work from home so I'm at a desk for most of the day and it's great to be able to get away from that and hop on one of these wheels and just rip around on some of the local trails around my home. I live near a river, as you can tell, and um, along this side of the river, a lot of the homes have been been removed by the county because of flood risk. The county purchased the property, then took the homes down, and they made the property publicly available. And there's still these little trails around where you can you can come in on the property and get access to the water. Um, they're a little more technical, but you know this is the InMotion V12 high torque, and it's built for this kind of stuff. I've got the pedals in the high position, uh, which turns out I preferred. Um, it arrived that way and I just figured, you know, I'd give it a shot and it felt great, so. So here I have just exited one of these trails that goes down to the river and um, I'm moving on up the road. There's another access point up here on the left that I'm hoping to find and go down. You can see I'm moving along pretty good for a 16 inch tire. I mean, that's not fast by any means, but it's about as fast as I wanted to go on it. I was pretty surprised by the V12 when I received it. I expected it to have more torque than it does. Um, it's not that it doesn't have a good amount of torque, but considering that it's got the same power of motor that the Sherman Max has, I expected it to... Uh, to turn that 16 inch tire a little bit easier than the Sherman turns the 20 and according to my butt dyno it doesn't really doesn't really do that it's uh, in fact it feels a little slower in some some regards I'll I'll fill you in on that as I continue to ride it you know maybe I'll learn something about it that I I don't have configured properly or that I'm not um, leveraging the pedals well enough or leaning in st strongly enough to move the uh, to to move the wheel the way I would expect it performs so I'll get back to you on that as I continue to learn the wheel I'm pretty new on it here still so this is just first impressions and uh, by no means don't take my opinion as um, as the truth or fact in this matter bear in mind I'm also 230 pounds riding so I'm not a small guy and um, it moves me around pretty good. I've taken it up some pretty steep inclines over some loose material. It's done pretty good for me. I'm pretty happy with it. And I really like that it's um, it's good off-road and that it's got high pedal height. And and guys, I think this is like, this is an amazing wheel. If you are, if you are looking to get into riding unicycles, the price point's unbeatable. I mean, you can get the high torque or the high speed version for 2500 or less and it uh it gets you i mean it gets you anywhere you want to go really sure you may not be able to have that top speed that some of the more expensive wheels have but you know when it comes to trails and whatnot you don't really you're not really pushing top speed anyway so this is um this is a great wheel a great way to get into it and it's you know it's fun on the road and it's fun off-road I highly recommend it. So if you're looking for a way to get an outlet from your daily rat race, like I was, um, I highly recommend getting into the electric unicycle world and um, and taking a peek around. I and mean, there's just a lot of things you can do on these suckers. And they're a lot of fun. You'll go places you'd never gone before. And you'll um, you'll you'll experience new things just just by learning this. And so, for that reason, um, I'm really pleased that I purchased the V12, and I've been having a great time with it. Highly recommend it to anybody. As always, please like and subscribe, and check out my affiliate links down below if you're looking to purchase anything. You use those links, it really helps the channel, and it doesn't cost you an additional dime. Thanks everybody, and I'll catch you next time.